Hello everyone, Adrian here. Today I'm going to make another recipe from the Depression era. Um, this one is called a wacky cake. Um, I've also heard people refer to it as a crazy cake or a depression cake or just some people will call it that cake my grandma used to make. Um, it is super simple. Um, it falls into the category of uh, accidentally vegan. Um, there's no butter, no eggs, no milk, um, nothing like that. And it was developed because there would be shortages. Um, but, um, you know, for me as a vegan, I'd benefit because uh, the lack of those ingredients means that it's something that I can make and something that I can eat. So um, it is super simple to make. Um, less than 10 ingredients, you mix it up in the pan that you bake it in. Um, really, yeah, it just is super simple, um, very inexpensive, and it makes a delicious cake. So here we go. All right, so I have a square baking dish and I've got my oven preheating at um, 350 degrees. And um, we're gonna start by adding the dry ingredients right into this pan. Um, no greasing the pan, anything like that. Um, we've got a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, a cup of white sugar, four tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So now we just mix all of these dry ingredients together just kind of distribute them evenly around the pan. Um, you want to make sure, you know, in particular that like the baking soda gets <laughs> everywhere in here. And once we've got that all done, what we do is we create three wells in the mixture. And we're going to pour our liquid ingredients into that. Okay, so the uh, we have a teaspoon of vanilla, we have a tablespoon of cider vinegar, and we have six tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm using safflower oil, um, any neutral oil would be fine for this. And also, um, I've seen variations of this recipe where they use just white vinegar, so if you don't have the cider vinegar, I think that the white vinegar is fine for this. Um, as you might expect with a recipe that's been around for 80, 90 years, um, there's a lot of variations that have developed over the years. Um, I'm using uh, a recipe, the version off of all recipes called Wacky Cake 8, um, Roman numerals. Um, I'll, I'll put the link in the description below so that you can have the exact measurements and directions. And we take one cup of water and we dump it in over the whole thing and then just mix it all up in the pan. Mix it very thoroughly and we are ready to put it in the oven. We mixed it all together with a fork in the pan, making sure all the wet and dry ingredients are combined. And now we're going to put it into our 350 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes and um, we're just going to use the toothpick test to make sure that it's done. If a toothpick comes out clean uh, when you stick it in the middle then it is done. So here's the cake just out of the oven. As you can see it rises nicely and uh, so it's going to be a nice fluffy cake. I'm going to let this cool and then I am going to have a piece. So here is our finished cake. As you can see, it's got a nice light texture to the cake. Um, it rises very nicely and it has a great chocolate flavor. You can top this with frosting or uh, even just a dusting of powdered sugar if you like. You could put, uh, you know, some berries or other fruit with it. Um, it's just a really nice, delicious cake. Mmm.
Well, thank you for joining me on this. Um, I hope that you uh, can add this recipe to your repertoire if it's not already there. <laughs> so um, as I said, it's uh, simple, it is frugal, uh, it is delicious, um, and uh, yeah, just a good thing to know how to do. So um, if you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up. If you know someone else who would like this video, then please share and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.